don't have a beast of a GPU, or don't want to drop thousands on a new graphics card just to run heavy AI workflows. Good news, you don't have to. RunPod lets you rent powerful cloud GPUs on demand so you can run comfy UI with ease. Fast setup, persistent storage, and full control. Let's dive in. All right, let's get this thing running. Oh, yeah. First up, you'll need a RunPod account and a little cash to fuel your AI dreams. Don't worry, it's way cheaper than a new graphics card. To start your comfy UI journey, head over to RunPod and create an account. It only takes a minute. Once you're in, top up your balance from the billing tab. $10 is a solid starting point and should cover your GPU time and storage so you don't get interrupted mid-project. As always, the RunPod link is in the description, along with all the other tools and models mentioned in this video. And if you'd rather Rather read or follow along step by step, there's a full written guide on our website, also linked below. Next up, creating a network volume. Comfy UI workflows often involve large model files and custom node setups, which can be tedious to re-download or reconfigure each time. This is where RunPod's network volumes come in. A network volume is persistent cloud storage that connects to your GPU pods. It allows you to retain your Comfy UI installation, downloaded models, extensions, and custom workflows even after your pod has been terminated. To create one, log into your RunPod dashboard and head to the storage section. Click on New Network Volume to begin. First, choose a data center region. As you select a region, you'll see the available GPUs listed on the right. This helps you pick the best location based on the hardware you want. I personally like using an RTX 4090, so for this guide, we'll go with a data center in Europe. Next, give your volume a clear name. Something like Comfy UI Storage works well for staying organized. Then choose your storage size. We recommend starting with 100 gigabytes. That's a good starting point for your Comfy UI setup, models, and workflows. Once everything looks good, hit Create Network network volume and you're done. A few important things to keep in mind about network volumes. First, they're persistent, meaning your comfy UI files, models, and custom setups will stick around even after your pod is stopped or deleted. No need to re-download or reconfigure every time. Pricing-wise, they cost about $7 a month for 100 gigabytes. Pretty reasonable for the convenience. Just note that volumes are region-specific, so if you switch to a different GPU region later, you'll have to manually move your data. And finally, volume sizes can only go up. You can increase them later, but you can't shrink them. That's why it's smart to start with something like 50 to 100 gigs and expand as needed. All right, now that your network volume is good to go, it's time for the fun part. Deploying your first GPU pod using the Next Diffusion Comfy UI template. This template takes care of installing both Comfy UI and Comfy UI Manager directly onto your network volume, making everything persistent, organized, and ready to roll whenever you launch a pod. Let's walk through the setup. First, head over to the storage section in the left sidebar of your RunPod dashboard. You should now see your shiny new volume listed there. Something like Comfy UI Storage, 100 GB. If it doesn't show up right away, give the page a quick refresh. Next, click the deploy button next to your volume. This will take you directly to the pod section with your volume already pre-selected in the nav bar and you're automatically placed in the secure cloud zone. Quick heads up. Network volumes do not work with Community Cloud, so make sure you're staying in Secure Cloud for this setup. Now, it's time to pick a GPU. From the list of available options, choose the one that fits your needs. In this tutorial, we're going with the RTX 4090, an absolute beast for running complex comfy UI workflows. But here's a quick pro tip. If you just want to install Comfy UI and Comfy UI Manager onto your volume, which can take some time, you can save a few bucks by starting with a cheaper GPU just for the initial setup. That said, we're going all in with the 4090 today. Now comes the most important step, choosing the right template. Click Change Template and look for Next Diffusion, Comfy UI in the list. If you don't see it right away, don't worry. We've got a direct link in the description that will auto-select the correct template for you once selected. This template will automatically install both Comfy UI and the Manager directly onto your persistent volume, making future launches much faster and way less painful. Now for the final tweaks. Leave the GPU count set to 1 and for the pricing type, select On Demand. At the time of this recording, that's about 69 cents an hour for an RTX 4090. Pretty solid value for serious AI generation. Once you're happy with everything, scroll down and hit Deploy On Demand. Boom! Your pod is now spinning up up and you'll be redirected to the My Pods tab where you can track everything in real time. 
Once your pod is deployed, head over to the pod section in the sidebar. You'll see it listed there with a status like initializing or starting. Click to expand the panel and you'll spot some logs showing the environment being prepared. That's just your pod pulling the template and setting things up, so hang tight. After a minute or two, switch to the logs tab. This is where the real action kicks in. You'll see Comfy UI and the Comfy UI Manager being installed directly onto your attached network volume. This step only happens during the first launch and can take around 10 minutes. When it's done, you'll see a confirmation line. Visual Studio Code is available at port 888. That means the setup is complete and the VS Code server is live. Now click connect, then select HTTP Service 888 to launch your cloud-based Visual Studio Code environment. It'll open right in your browser, preloaded with everything you need. And the best part, since it's all saved to your network volume, you won't have to do this again. Future pods will skip the setup and boot up almost instantly. Now that your VS Code server is live and fully set up, it's time to launch Comfy UI. This is where all the action happens. Inside the VS Code environment, you'll see the full folder structure of your workspace. This is your command center. It contains everything from your models and extensions to custom nodes and scripts. To get Comfy UI up and running with GPU acceleration, first click the terminal icon in the top right corner of the screen. A terminal panel will open at the bottom. Make sure you're in the workspace directory. Here you'll find a script called run underscore GPU dot SH. Simply type dot slash run underscore GPU dot SH and hit enter. This will start Comfy UI with GPU access, and within a few moments, you'll see logs confirming the GUI is live on port 81888. Important, do not close this terminal. It powers the Comfy UI backend and also gives you live logs for debugging and progress tracking. Now head back to your RunPod dashboard, click connect on your active pod, and select HTTP service 8188. This will launch the Comfy UI interface in a new tab, ready to generate images and run workflows. Begin by opening the Comfy UI interface and clicking the Workflows button in the left sidebar. You'll find the fluxdev.json workflow file included in your setup. Click on it to load the workflow onto the canvas. At first glance, if you hit Run, you'll likely get an error because the required model isn't downloaded yet. To fix this, switch back to your VS Code server environment on port 8888. Navigate to the Comfy UI Models Checkpoints folder, right-click it and select Open an Integrated Terminal. This this will open a new terminal in that specific folder. Before downloading, head to the model page linked in the video description where you can easily copy the download link for the FluxDev FP8 Safe Tensors file by clicking Copy Download Link. Then back in the terminal, type wget, paste the copied link, and hit enter to download the model directly into the correct checkpoints folder on your network volume. This ensures the model stays available even if you restart or redeploy your pods. Once the download finishes, return to the Comfy UI web interface and refresh the node definitions by clicking edit. Refresh node definitions or simply pressing the R key. This refresh ensures the newly downloaded model appears in the checkpoint loader drop-down menu. Now select Flux1 Dev FP8 Safe Tensors in that node, then click Run. The first generation may take a minute or so as the model caches into memory, but subsequent runs will be much quicker. And just like that, you've generated your first image inside your very own cloud-hosted Comfy UI environment, ready to explore even more creative possibilities. Once you're done generating images, it's smart to shut down your pod to avoid ongoing hourly charges. Just head back to your RunPod dashboard and hit the Terminate button on your active pod. This immediately stops the instance, and you're no longer billed per hour. The best part? Everything you set up, Comfy UI, your models, workflows, and outputs, is safely stored on your persistent network volume. So now, let's relaunch a pod to see just how fast things boot up with the setup already in place. Go to the storage section, find your volume, and click deploy. Choose your GPU again, we're sticking with the RTX 4090, and make sure the next Diffusion Comfy UI template is selected. Scroll down and hit the Deploy On Demand button. In the pod section, open the logs. This time you'll notice it's only pulling the template, but inside the logs itself, there's nothing to install. Everything's already on the network volume. And within seconds, you'll see the VS Code server is live on port 8888. Click Connect, open the HTTP service, and boom! You're back in the full Comfy UI environment. Your Flux1 Dev FP8 Safe and Source model is still there, along with the images you just generated in the output folder. Want to launch Comfy UI again? Just open the terminal and type .run_gpu.sh.
Once the 8188 port pops up, click it to open the GUI. And that's it, you're back in Comfy UI in seconds. See how fast that was now that everything's installed? If you found this helpful, give us a like, hit subscribe, and let us know in the comments if you want more deep dive tutorials into Comfy UI workflows. Peace, and see you in the next one.